Zip Tie Domes presents How to Build a Tunnel Dome with Zero Extensions. This new geodesic dome design provides an oval or oblong footprint with more floor space than a circular geodesic dome. The Zero Extension Tunnel Dome requires no additional support struts and is freestanding. The design is very strong and will support over 100 pounds from a single hub. This zero extension tunnel dome is 8 feet 6 inches in height, 20 feet 4 inches in length, and 17 feet and 1 inch in width. This produces a floor space of 277 square feet. Here is an overhead schematic of the dome. This dome requires 23 blue A struts, 26 black B struts, 30 red C struts, 8 yellow D struts, 28 blue 6-way hubs, 6 red 5-way hubs, and 174 zip ties. We use 120-pound UV-resistant nylon ties for building smaller domes, and 350 pound stainless steel ties for building larger structures. Using zip ties means that no tools are needed for building this dome. You may use a hammer for staking the dome down after it is built, but no tools are used during the construction process, just zip ties. The hubs for this dome are also available as dual covering hubs. The dual covering hubs have an extra ridge on each edge of the hub. This ridge allows you to attach greenhouse plastic with zip ties to each hub on both the inside and the outside of the dome, which creates a dead air space for better insulation. Building the dome foundation. Take four blue struts and lay two blue struts in a slight arch at each end of the dome footprint. Take four yellow struts and lay two along each side of the tunnel dome. Fill in the four gaps between the yellow struts and the blue struts with four black struts. Take 12 blue hubs and 12 center rings. Put a blue hub and a center ring between every strut and connect them together to create the tunnel dome foundation. The strut should be inserted on opposite sides of the hub or 180 degrees apart and attached to the center ring with zip ties. Building the first tier. All struts and hubs will be placed on the outside of the foundation ring. Take eight red struts and lay them in the shape of four red triangles over the four black struts in the tunnel dome foundation. Take four blue struts and put a blue V where the two blue struts meet at the ends of the dome. Take four blue struts and put a blue V where the two yellow struts meet on the sides of the dome. Put eight black struts in the remaining gaps to create triangles over every strut in the foundation. Put four red hubs and center rings where the red struts meet to form a triangle. Put eight blue hubs over the remaining triangles. Connect the hubs and struts. It is easier if you connect the struts to the foundation ring first and then connect the struts to the outside hubs to complete the triangles. Take eight red struts and put a red strut on each side of the red hubs. Take two black struts and put a black strut over the blue V at the ends of the tunnel dome. 
take two blue struts and put a blue strut over the blue V on the sides of the tumble dome. Connect the struts and hubs and raise the first tier. Building the second tier. Take four red struts and two red hubs. Make two red triangles with a red hub and place them over the black strut at each end of the tunnel dome. Take four red struts and attach them to four blue hubs. Insert these into the four red hubs at the top of the first tier. Take eight black struts and put one black strut on either side of the four red struts with blue hubs. Attach with zip ties at the bottom and the top. Take four blue struts and two blue hubs. Make two blue triangles and place them over the two empty blue struts on the sides of the tunnel dome. Take four red struts and put two red struts on either side of the red hub at the ends of the tunnel dome. Use four yellow struts to complete the top of the second tier. Completing the tunnel dome. Take two red struts and two blue hubs and attach each red strut to a blue hub. Attach the other end of the red struts to the red hubs at each end of the tunnel dome. Take four black struts and put two black struts on either side of the red strut and connect to the blue hubs. Attach four blue struts in the shape of a diamond to the blue hubs. Complete the dome with a single blue strut. After the dome is complete, check the width of the dome to make sure it is correct and that it matches the width stated in the assembly manual or on the tunnel dome calculator. Tunnel domes have a tendency to spread out in the middle and pulling the sides together will make the tunnel dome much, much stronger. You can stake down one side of the tunnel dome and pull it together manually or you can use electric fencing wire to pull the two sides together. Each hub on the ground will have two holes facing the ground. Once the tunnel dome is the correct width, take a short piece of rebar or other metal stake and place it inside one of these holes and pound the stake into the ground. Staking the sides of the tunnel dome will bring the design to full strength. For more information about the Tunnel Dome with zero extensions, go to www.ziptiedomes.com. At the top of our website, there's a black navigation bar. Hover over the Dome Calculator section of the navigation bar and then click on Tunnel Domes in the drop-down list. This will present an appropriate calculator image to display the Tunnel Dome Calculator. Click the standard 4-inch hubs radio button and then put a 5 in the blue A strut field. Then click the blue calculate button. The calculator will produce the height, width, and length of the tunnel dome plus give you each strut length. Using the strut length from the tunnel dome calculator will let you buy just the hubs from us and then cut your own struts from 1-inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe to make any size tunnel dome. Or you can buy the complete kit with hubs and the struts ready to be assembled. If you have questions about our products, call us at 931-858-6892. We would love to talk to you. Hi, Mom. <laughs>